Hey guys, what's up? So given the fact that a lot of us are still stuck at home on lockdown and not having a bunch to do this summer and just the whole state of the world in general. I thought I would share with you guys some of my favorite ways to get motivated and inspired. And I feel like finding creativity and motivation can be so hard sometimes, especially now with everything going on. <laughs> helps me a lot is a change in scenery and I feel like that is so applicable now if you're like me and still under a stay-at-home order when you're seeing and doing the same thing every day it can get monotonous and tiring just getting out for a drive can help so much to just clear your head and give yourself a nice reset you need to switch it up and keep it interesting you know, I honestly love blasting music in my car and going for like drives. Even though I have nowhere to go, I feel like it just helps to clear my head. Another thing that I find really helpful is to journal or plan or do like a brain dump of some sort. If you're feeling unmotivated or creatively stuck, I feel like writing out your frustrations and why you're feeling that way can kind of help you process it more. Even like with YouTube ideas, I love doing brain dumps just to kind of just like write down whatever is on my mind, even if it's the stupidest video idea ever, I write it down. There's something very therapeutic about getting your thoughts out of your head and onto a piece of paper. I am a big planner too, and, I feel, and planning out my life motivates me so much. So if you're wired that way, definitely plan out your life. That is definitely how I stay motivated. Having a plan that I can stick to, written out on paper. Having something visual and like tangible to remind you of where you wanna be in a certain amount of time, I feel like is a great kind of like subconscious motivator because at least for me, I don't look at my vision board or whatever and be like, oh, I need to work towards this goal today. You just kind of like see it, acknowledge it, and go about your day. But I feel like a part of it just like is still in the back of your head, you know? And if you're like crafty or artsy or creative at all, putting it together in itself is just a good way to spark creativity. I feel like consuming new information about a topic you're passionate about can be so motivating and inspiring in a very weird way. I personally love watching TED Talks about like society and culture and how the media influences it. Like, oh my gosh, give me all of the information. It is so interesting. I feel like when you're learning information about a topic you're interested in, it just like, I don't know, like it's just so exciting. Getting outside and in nature is so good for so many things, but it makes sense why it would help you become more motivated and creative when getting outside because your brain thrives with some sun and some fresh air. And I don't know, like even if it's just taking like a 10 minute walk around your neighborhood to like clear your thoughts. I feel like ever since I have been prioritizing time outside, I have been a lot more energized and motivated and I don't know. With the internet, there is so much great inspiring and motivating and valuable content out there. So I thought I would share with you guys some of my favorite content to consume. If you know anything about me, you know I am obsessed with podcasts. I, no joke, probably listen to at least one a day. And two of my favorite podcasts that definitely motivate me and inspire me are The Creative Key by Laura Medley. She is amazing. She's like an 18 year old in the UK and she's like a film student and her like dialogue and commentary on like being a creative person and being a teenager and putting yourself out there and like it's just so valuable like I love it so much. If you watched any of my other videos you know that I'm obsessed with the Skinny Confidential. Even if I don't know who they're bringing on the show or super interested in what they're talking about, I listen anyway because I know I'm gonna get something valuable out of that episode. Especially the ones where they bring on guests who are entrepreneurs and content creators. Like, it's so inspiring to hear other people's stories and how they work and how they're successful. And it's just 
so valuable, like highly recommend. I feel like social media especially is one of those things that it can either benefit your life and add value to your life or it can like drain you and take away. And just having that motivation and like inspirational people in your feed every day can help a ton, you know? So some of my favorite social media accounts are Stellar Sean. Every day he like talks about like a topic or how he's feeling on his like Instagram stories and they're just the best things ever and he's so articulate and mature and he's 16 like what he sounds like he could be like a 27 year old his insight on like life and creativity is just amazing also the mayfair group they are like a pr and like marketing firm but their instagram and branding is just amazing and it inspires me so much like dream company to work for right there. Some YouTubers that I have been obsessed with lately who just inspire me so much are Damon Dominique, specifically his Red Wine Talk series. I'm obsessed with them. He's an American YouTuber, but he lives and travels all over the world. It's just so cool to see somebody like traveling the world and like vlogging and documenting every single part of it and talking to people around the world about their experiences. Kelsey Simone and her vlogs are just amazing. Her fashion, her style, her aesthetic is just everything I aspire to be and more. I highly, highly recommend her channel. Her vlogs are just so like motivational, but also like calming at the same time. Sienna Marabella is another one of those YouTubers that is so motivating to watch and all her content just like makes you want to be so much more productive and have your life together and her like aesthetic and branding is just so perfect and I highly recommend. <laughs> so those are all the ways that I love to stay motivated and creatively inspired. If you enjoyed this week's video, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new because I post new videos every Saturday. And if you have any of your own tips and ways to get motivated and inspired, definitely leave them in the comments down below. And I will see you next week with another video.